I'm going to talk a little bit about the statistics functionality of the 32S2 and also the linear regression, which really plays into that. So for example here, we've got a set of data. Um, on the x-axis we have nitrogen, and on the y-axis we have the yield. So how much will we yield for how much nitrogen is put into the soil? Now I'm going to enter in these numbers as the y value first and then the x value, which makes sense because as I enter in the x value, then the first number that I enter will be pushed up into the y portion of the stack. So the first value is going to be 4.63, and that is paired with an x value of 0. Now to put it into my summation register, I just hit this sum plus. And this tells me I have one value in my summation register. Before I started this, I went ahead and went to clear and cleared the summation so that I have nothing in that register, otherwise I would be adding to it. I want to start with a clean register every time. So the second value here, it is a value of 5.78 and 20 on the x-axis. Sum that third value 6.61 and on the x-axis we are at 40 sum that now we have 7.21 on the x-axis 60 add that that's our fourth number and then the final number is going to be 7.78 and an x value of 80 so we have five numbers entered into that register, and we can look at the statistics of this um, <clears throat> set that we've entered by going into these three menus here, actually all four here. So you have the linear regression, you have your uh, means, your averages, you have your standard deviations, and your sums. Let me go to sums first. So if I hit N, that'll tell me how many items I have in my summation is 5, as we knew. If I hit X, that will do the sum on the values in X. I do Y, that gives me the sum of the values in Y. And then I can do the same with X squared, Y squared, and then X times Y. So it filled in these registers as we went along doing what is the sum of all the values squared. What is the sum of all the y values squared? And what is the sum of x times y? You can look at the standard deviations. So these are your sample standard deviations and your population standard deviations. And you can get your x or your y value. So you can have two different data sets and find the standard deviation of both of those. Your means. So the mean value of x is 40. That makes sense. 40 is right in the middle. And of y, we have 6.4. And then, of course, you can get a weighted mean as well, uh, where the values, the x values, are weighted by the y values, which doesn't mean much in this situation, but it's there. Now for linear regression. So this essentially plots that line that we see here. It gives you the um, parameters for that. So we have. Um, our R value, that is the uh, slope. No, I'm no, no. I'm sorry, I'm not thinking straight. That is the uh, how close the line fits to those those numbers there. You have your M, which is your slope. So that's the slope of this line. And you have your B, which is your y-intercept. So this intercepts at 4.85. Lastly, you can predict a number. So, for example, we know that 60 here is equal to 7.21. Now, given our... Let me just put in 60. And my line that I fitted, based on that input of 60 for the x value, what is my y value going to be? And 7.17. We entered in 7.21. This line fits fairly close, but not perfectly. 
Um, it's, a, it's a linear regression. It's not, it can't fit all the data points with a linear line. We can also, let's say, I want to find the value at 25. So based on this pro projected line that we've put in here, go back to linear regression, what is the y value? So if I want to yield, or if I put in 25 uh, kilograms of nitrogen, then I should expect to yield 5.8 uh, metric tons in this example. And you can go the other way too. So if I want a yield of seven metric tons, I can enter in seven, go to linear regression and find out what X value, how much nitrogen should I put in to achieve that. So 55 kilograms of nitrogen. So that's just a basic overview of the uh, the statistics, the linear regression, it can be really useful for a lot of problems. But just always remember to clear that sum out or else you will end up adding to a previous problem that you did.